Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, check the description for all my information. I do the premium lead code problems on Patreon. And if you join my Discord and reach out to me, I try to get back to everyone. Um, this is a problem called search in a rotated sorted array. It is very, very similar to one of my favorite problems on Pramp, which is shifted array search. It's actually exactly the same. Um, in this problem, what we're doing is uh, we are given a sorted array in ascending order. It is rotated at some pivot unknown to you beforehand. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 um, gets rotated so that you it eventually becomes 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2. Uh, so what's happening is it's getting rotated to the right a few times, like four times, and it goes, you know, the seven gets put to the front, the six gets put to the front, the five, then the four. Um, and what we're doing is we're kind of just searching, we're doing a regular binary search, but you could see it's no, it is sorted, and it gets shifted, so it's no longer sorted. It's a, it is, if you unshift it, then it is, or unrotate it, it is sorted, um, but the problem is that uh, binary search, the normal imp implementation, doesn't work for finding a number unless the array is sorted. So how are we going to be able to do this? Um, it, it's basically just find the element. So if you don't find it, return negative 1. No duplicates exist. Um, and yeah, we just have to do it in log of n time. So we have to binary search. And this, like I said, is just like one of my favorite prompt problems. It's the same thing. The array is shifted. They call it shifted in this one, and you have to find the number. And what you do here in this prompt one is you find the pivot. You find the point at which the array starts, and you use binary search to do this. We want to mo use a modified version of binary search to find where this array was shifted so we want to find the smallest element this pivot point so that we know we can just check against the first element and up to that pivot point or the or the pivot point to the end and check which side to search on for example if we find the pivot point is here and we have that index we can check okay are we looking for a one okay is one between this element and the last element of the array Okay, we'll search on this side. Or is one between, you know, the first element up to the element right before the pivot? Then we would search on the left. So that's pretty much the idea here. We could start to code it out. But the main thing is we're doing a modified binary search to find the smallest element. Because then we can really just treat it as a sorted array. Check if the element, which side to search, do a regular binary search on. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first, if nums, the array that we're given, is equal to null or uh, nums.length is equal to zero, there's nothing to search through. This is a crap uh, array that we're given, so we'll just do that. Then we'll set up a regular binary search type thing where you just set the left equal to zero and the right equal to nums.length uh, minus one. Our condition will be while left is less than right, and our goal here is to have these boundaries meet at the um, index of the smallest element. So left and right will uh, break, this loop will break when we found the smallest element in the array. So we calculate the midpoint just like we normally do. Uh, left plus right minus left divided by two. This is just halfway point. Uh, if you calculate it, it's we do it like this for integer overflow. Um, if nums of midpoints is greater than nums of right. This is the modified binary search part. We will make left equal to midpoint plus one, else we will make right equal to midpoint. And what this is checking is, okay, is the middle element, we have this array that it's been rotated, is the middle element of this array, is it greater than the element all the way to the right? Because in a sorted array, all the elements to the right are always greater, right? For example, if you're looking at the middle of this, the element to the right is always greater than the middle element, right? So if this happens, that's pretty peculiar. So that's kind of weird. And that's a good scenario for us to start to narrow down our search. Because, for example, in this, if we're checking 7, if 7 is greater than 2, well, that's kind of weird that the element at the end 
is smaller if it's a sorted array. So we can start to narrow down our search space by setting the boundary to left equals midpoint plus one. And we do this because this means that uh, we do midpoint plus one because this means that the middle element for sure is not the smallest since this element is gr um, the element to the right is uh, less than it. So we know that there's something smaller. So we can do midpoint plus one, not just midpoint. Uh, the other one we account for less than or equal to. So if nums of midpoint is less than or equal to nums of right, that's normal. So we can just start to narrow down our search base to the left half of the array. Um, so that's it. When this loop breaks out, we can our left index for in this example, for in this example, um, our um, our loop will break when left is at the smallest index. So left would be at zero, one, two, three, four in this case. So left would be four. And uh, we would know that that's the smallest element in the array. Okay, so we'll set a variable there. We'll say the starting point of our array, if it was sorted, will be left. And then we will reset our boundaries to do a regular binary search now. So we'll say left is zero and right is equal to nums.length minus one again. We don't have to type them because they were typed up there. Um, now we'll do a regular binary search. And which side of the array do we want a binary search on though? That's like the main question here. Um, and we'll decide that, so forget this for a second. How do we know which side to binary search on? Well, if target is greater than or equal to nums of start, so wherever the starting index, wherever the smallest element is, and less than or equal to nums and target is less than, sorry, and target is less than or equal to nums of right, well, then we have perfect boundaries. This is a sorted version right here. Um, we want to search for the target within these boundaries. We can just set left equal to start. Wherever start is, um, you know, we can uh, just do our binary search between those. If it's between them, then we'll search between them, and it's all sorted between this... Um, those pairs of indices, so that's fine. Otherwise, if it's not, well, then we don't want to set our left boundary to start. We want to set our right boundary to start so that we search on the other side of the array. And that's what I was explaining at the beginning. We find the smallest index, the smallest elements index, and then we know that if we're looking for a number between 0 and 2, well, we could search on this side. If we're looking for a number uh, that is greater than two and then we could just look on the other side so that's pretty much the idea here um so it's just a normal binary search from this point on and i love this problem i think it's a really good uh i think this is a great interview problem this has come up in an interview for me and i like this interview problem a lot so it's not too difficult it shows you know what you're doing uh, so if nums of midpoint is equal to target, return midpoint because we found the target. This is just a regular binary search. If nums of midpoint is less than target, well, then target's on the right side, right? Target's greater than what we're looking at. So we want to say left is equal to midpoint plus one. Um, I'm ex just explaining binary search now, though. And otherwise, uh, it's going to be on the target is less than nums of midpoint or equal to. So we're going to do nums is equal to uh, midpoint minus one. And then we're just going to return negative one. I don't even know if I made a mistake this time. I usually make one mistake per video, so we'll see. I made no mistakes. This is history in the making, guys. So that's the idea here. Um, thank you for watching. I didn't full screen the freaking um, screen, but hopefully you guys can deal with that. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, find the smallest index and then choose which side to sort on. Because after you know the smallest index, you know that it's sorted from one side to another and then from this the beginning to that index. So that's the main idea. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I, um, you know, freaking thank you 